Hey guys, this series is going to teach you in depth how the advanced brush settings work in Photoshop. In this video, I'm going to explain how the scattering settings work. Let's get started. For this example, I'll be using one of Photoshop's default brushes in the hard elliptical brush. I'm going to increase the spacing to 50% so we can see our changes more easily. If you turn on the scattering settings, the first thing that you'll notice is a scatter slider. I'm going to turn the scattering up to about 200% and now when I paint, you can see that my brush scatters on the axis perpendicular to the way I'm painting. If I check both axes, my brush will scatter randomly in any direction. Increasing the count will increase the amount of elements that my brush puts out. The count jitter slider will randomize the amount of elements produced as I paint. If I go into my brush presets, you'll see a snowflake brush that I created. This brush combines some of the shape dynamics and scattering settings to create a nice snowflake scatter brush. By combining unique brush tips with multiple advanced settings, you can automate things that would normally take you hours to do by hand. Check out the other videos in the Photoshop Brushes Advanced Features series to learn more. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.